Good morning, church, and welcome to Audacious Devotions. My name is Lola. I'm part of the pastoral team. And as you may know, as a church, we've been going through a series called Barmy Bible Stories. So this week, we have another Barmy Bible story that we are looking at. It's taken from Judges chapter three, where we will be learning about a man named Ehud. So I'm just going to go ahead and read that story. We're in Judges chapter three, and I'm reading from verse 12. Once again, the Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight, and the Lord gave King Eglon of Moab control over Israel because of their evil. But when the people of Israel cried out to the Lord for help, the Lord again raised up a rescuer to save them. His name was Ehud, son of Jerah, a left-handed man of the tribe of Benjamin. The Israelites sent Ehud to deliver their tribute money to King Eglon of Moab. Ehud made a double-edged dagger and it was about a foot long. He strapped it to his right thigh, keeping it hidden under his clothing, and he brought the tribute money to Eglon. King Eglon was very fat. After delivering the payment, he started home, but then turned back. And he went back to the king and he said, I have a secret message for you. So the king commanded his servants to leave the room and be quiet. Ehud walked over to the king and said, I have a message from God for you. So as the king started to stand up from his seat, Ehud reached with his left hand and pulled out the dagger that was strapped to his right thigh and he plunged it into the king's belly. The dagger went so deep that the handle disappeared beneath the king's fat. So Ehud did not pull out the dagger and the king's bowels emptied. Ehud closed the door, locked the door of the room and escaped down the latrine. While the servants were waiting, Ehud escaped. And when he arrived in the hill country of Ephraim, he surrounded a call, he sounded a call to arms and he led a band of Israelites down from the hills. Follow me, he said, for the Lord has given you victory over Moab, your enemy. So they followed him and the Israelites took control of the shallow crossing of the Jordan River. They attacked the Moabites and killed around 10,000 of their strongest and most able-bodied warriors. Not one of them escaped. So Moab was conquered by Israel that day and there was peace in the land for 80 years. So here we have um, a story um, of a man called Ehud who God had risen up um, to deliver the children of Israel. He goes to see the king and he has the courage um, to plunge a dagger into his abdomen. Um, the king is described as, um, as a very large man, so big that when he put the dagger into his abdomen, that the dagger almost disappeared. Um, into his abdomen and, and he's so much so that he wasn't even able to pull out the, the dagger. He then went on to round up the rest of the Israelites. Once he'd kill, killed the king, he rounded up the rest of the Israelites and then they fought a great battle that day um, and they, they killed uh, the 10,000 uh, most able-bodied men of the Moab people and, um, and then they took um, control back of Moab and they had peace in that land um, for 80 years. Uh, so that's the summary of the story. Um, we will have to continue uh, looking at this story tomorrow. Thanks, see you tomorrow.